everyone, welcome to Kikesh Cha. I am Shirley and this is a special birthday haul. I wanted to give out love and special thanks to all the birthday gifts I got from my family and my cousin Gabriel. And um, also just to give thanks and love to the people who gave me birthday wishes on Instagram and on Facebook. So yes, I went to the Cloisters, the Met Cloisters, which is uptown in New York City. It has medieval artwork there and garden in the gardens as well. And it was amazing going there because I've been in a medieval type of mood of like studying history and all that stuff. So I was like, should I go for my birthday? But then I was like, you know what? Just go, Shirley. And Christy, my sister, of course, came with me. And we just saw all this, of course, medieval artworks and gardens and it was amazing and beautiful so i'm happy i went for my birthday because i was like i just i gotta do something and just doing that and being in that medieval mood of middle ages and history and all that stuff and just seeing that was just perfect icing on a cake <laughs> forgot the saying sorry about that so i'm gonna start with the gifts i got for myself because i'm an adult of course so I got this Old Guard t-shirt. It's with Joe and Nikki. It says Love is Immortal. I got it off of Fernandez, the artist from the Old Guard comic book. They were doing basically like artwork on t-shirts and um, giving it on the Bonfire website to sell for people to buy and all the proceedings went to like the Trevor Project. So this proceeding um, went to the Trevor Project which is um, the, the organization that help LGBTQ kids, teens out as as well. And I'll put more information down below. Um, so that was amazing. So all the money went to the to a great um, organization. And I was like, okay, great. And I've been in, of course, the, you know, the old guard mood. So I was like, I really love that movie. So I was like, okay. And I love Joe and Nikki. I was like, let me get this shirt. And I did. Talking about old guard. This is another gift I got for myself as well. It is the first comic book. After I saw the movie, I was like, I have to read the comic book. Because I was like, oh shit, this is a comic book. <laughs> so I got the comic book. I really liked it. I'm actually going to do a more in-depth review for this one and the second one. And I'll show you that one later. Um, so those are the two gifts I got for myself. So the other gifts from my family, basically, my dad and my brother got me a mic. Oh, it is a beautiful mic. I actually was looking at this mic. I think it was a different color. I forgot, but this is a blue one that I saw and I was like, oh, I really want this because I want to do like a podcast about folklore and true crime, which is things that really fascinate me and interest me. So I was like, I need a mic. I might start that project as well. Aside from Geek Edge Chat with my sister Chrissy. So I was like, this would be amazing to have and of course my sister told them and they chipped in and bought it for me so thank you to my dad and my brother for that it's a beautiful mic so i'm truly grateful i'm excited to start my new project <laughs> i don't know when but i'll hopefully do it because i have to start research because <laughs> that's what i need to do so the other gifts i got was from my mom <laughs> and this is what she got me <laughs> <laughs> it's perfume sorry that was upside down Michael Quartz and um, it's amazing it smelled good I put it on yesterday for my birthday um, when I went out to the cloisters and it smells really good I think this is the body lotion this is the one to carry I presume so it's like roll stick you put on and of course this is a perfume and this really smells really good so I thank my mom for that. That was very sweet of her. She also bought me jeans and a t-shirt that were really nice. Um, they're over there. <laughs> I forgot to like bring them out, but of course they're blue jeans and it's a blue t-shirt, um, blue, um, yeah, blazer, I mean. Sorry, I said t-shirt. So it's blue jeans and I needed jeans because my other jeans was kind of like uh, messing up really bad. Um, so yeah, so I'm thankful for that because I really needed that. So the other gifts that I got was from my sister. And she got me, let me start off with, 
she got me a lot of amazing things that I love. This is something I really love that I'm going to show you. I loved all these gifts, but like this gift in particular really called to me because it's my two favorite things. And I was just, oh, she knows me so well. So first thing she got me was a face mask. Um, Neutrogena Hydro Blast. So I like face masks. The first face mask that I used actually messed up my skin. Like I got like red and I had to take it off and I was like hot and I was like oh my god like I don't know what the hell was going on with me so I was like should I ever try a face mask ever again I think my skin is very sensitive so that's what happened but I will try this one and hopefully this one works <laughs> so wish me luck cuz I don't know but yeah I yeah I again I said my face is probably my hands are really sensitive they get like irritated quick so that's probably just my skin in general so that's why that's what happened to my face so I'm hoping for the best for this I'm excited though to try because I actually like the face mask but that just wholly messed up so anyways and these she got me masks I have to try these because I don't know if they're gonna fit universal thread I don't know how many masks are in here oh five pack of course these are non-surgical and these are like fashionable I guess mask to wear outside so I have to try them on to see if they fit I don't know if they fit yet so I thank her for that because of course this is you know it's a new normal this is what we have to wear of course masks um so I thank her again I just have to make sure it fits <laughs> um the other stuff she got me was books and I love reading I love books so I'm gonna go through them Talking about the old guard, she got me the second book, the sequel, um, book two, Force Multiply, and this book actually just came out in September, the middle of middle of September, I think. So it's a recent comic book or graphic novel that just came out, the sequel. So this is new, so I haven't read it yet, and I was really like, oh my god, I hope I get this book before, like, right on my birthday, so I can review it because it's new and everything, and. I really liked the first one. The first one was really good. Love the movie. So I'm excited to read this sequel. And I will do a review of both comic books on Geek Edge Chat. And hopefully my sister reads them so we could do them together, the video. Um, the next book is... Okay. I think it's called The Vindications from Mary Woodstone, Woodstone Craft. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm saying it wrong, I am so sorry. <laughs> it's, um, I think it's Vindication of the Rights of Women. So this is about feminism and um, the rights of women of, of having, you know, the, the right to education, equality between the sexes and everything. And Mary, Mary Woodstone Craft, of course, is the mother of Mary Shelley, who wrote Frankenstein. And she was one of the pioneers in the feminist of movement. Um, so, talking about Mary Shelley, this is why she got me this, so I'm excited to read this to know more about Mary Woodstone Craft. I also got, and I haven't read this book yet, so that's why I'm excited, was her daughter's book, <laughs> Frankenstein, a classic horror novel uh, by Mary Shelley. <laughs> so, I got the mother and I got the daughter, and of course, her daughter was a teenager when she wrote this book. A teenager, which is crazy. So I'm like, what the hell I accomplished? But I accomplished enough <laughs> in my life. To... But um, yeah, like literally, she like wrote a novel in, like one night in, <laughs> in, a, in a house, a big mansion house. But yes, this is Frankenstein. It's a classic. I'm excited to read this. I've been reading Dracula. Um, you know, from Brian Stoker. Um, it's been interesting <laughs> trying to get through it. Hopefully I get through it. I, I have things to say about Dracula. I thought I would feel a certain way about it, but I'm actually feeling another way about it. So hopefully I get through it. But I definitely want to review this book because, um, yeah, I, I really want to know how amazing this book is and, and they review it and Frankenstein and yeah everything <laughs> it's a horror classic so maybe I'll feel differently about it like when I get to read it than how I'm feeling about Dracula I'm really sad about Dracula because I thought I would think about it a different way but 
That's for another time. Um, the other book I got, I actually put in another video. I'll link it down below. Um, the video was called Things That Made Us Happy. And of course, me and Chrissy talked about things that made us happy during this time of stress and, and you know, just terror and like just trying to get through depression and anxiety with things that are just lifting us up and getting through this time that's very scary. Aside from Corona and the everything else that's happening in this world with police brutality and, and just the elections coming up. It's just scary right now. And um, so this book I was reading on audiobook and I finally finished it the couple of days ago. And I was crying because of the end. Whew, was that ending bittersweet. Also, I was crying a lot because of this relationship. Of course, the book is... <laughs> the Song of Achilles. I am definitely going to review this book on Giga's Chat. I actually really um, adore this book. It's weird because this book had problem. Um, I would say this. I adore this book because of the relationship between Patroclus and Achilles. And that's the story that really made me cry. And um, I really appreciate this story and the bittersweet ending and just everything. I was, yeah, I was crying. I don't really cry a lot of books. But this book has problems, I'm not gonna lie, because the female characters was not doing much and that's not good. They didn't have really much of um, character or backstory and um, I don't know. It's like she was picking and choosing you know what she wanted to put in but then again I didn't read the Iliad so I don't really like I'm not really well versed but from what I was reading of from different people reviews that's what they were saying but for me personally all I can say is the woman the female characters they weren't that strong or good at all and it, 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 it yeah but it's the yeah the relationship between Achilles and Patroclus was really good so um now, I definitely want to review this just to go in depth more about the problems I had with it, but also what I loved about it. So I'm happy she got it for me. Um, oh, yeah. Also, she got me this. This is what I was talking about. This is what I loved. This is, I loved all these gifts, but this is what called to me in the sense of like, this is who I truly, you know, love and appreciate about myself and what I, I'm interested in. I love dinosaurs. I'm not gonna lie. I got dinosaurs on my desk over here. You can't really see them. They're behind my chair. My brother got those. So he knows I love dinosaurs too. They know I love dinosaurs. I got into anthropology because of it. Even though, because, you know, archaeology, you can study fossils, dinosaurs, anthropology is part of that. It's a, it's, it's a branch of anthropology. So that's what I major and got my bachelor's in. Um, so I love dinosaurs. They are reading books. They are carrying books. And I love reading. So this bag calls to me. She got it at Strands. And Strands really have amazing bags. Like I bought a um, Frida Carlo bag from there as well that I really love that I got compliments from. I got that for my sister. That's her bag. But she got me this book bag and I'm just... Yes, I love it. <laughs> Anyways, so... The last pair of gifts that I got was from my cousin Gabriel, um, Mr. Drumsticks on YouTube. And I will put down his um, pages down below so we could, you know, check him out because he plays games on Twitch as well. So I'll put it down below so you could like subscribe to him. He's amazing. Um, he got me gifts because, you know, him and his mom and they're sweethearts. His mom got me a cup that I was drinking from just recently and I forgot where it is. But the cup was really cute. It said second chances on it. I was talking about second chances and I was like, this is amazing because I need to take second chances in my life because sometimes, you know, you mess up in life and things, you know, come to you for second chances and you just got to take them and that's recently what's been happening to me. So it was just weird how this... It was cool how this cup came into my life. Like, oh yeah, that's so cool. Like, I like, you know, you gotta take second chances. So that's what I love. It was cute. It has like drawings on it. I thought I had it here, so I'm so sorry. But I think his mom forgetting it. 
I love it. Um, the gifts he got me was basically he got me two bags. He got me this bag, minions. So the gifts came from so cute. Ah, so cute. I would have like shopping it with supermarket and all that stuff. Like would take it there, put my supermarket stuff in there. So that was really cute of him. That movie, Minions is a cute. They're cute characters, and those movies are cute. If you ever check them out, um, the Nike bag where you could put your laptop and anything else as well. I might use this just to go travel, like put clothes in here and travel with it. Not use like a suitcase. You know what? I might actually use this, like use this bag as a traveling bag because it's a really cool bag. Um, sorry. The other things he got me was the child. <laughs> from um the mandalorian i don't know why i was about to say harry potter that was weird the mandalorian um i already got a child it's over here somewhere i think you could see it right there um but that one's using the force this one he just looks so sad and cute and everything so this <laughs> so i'm so happy about his baby yoda that's what we call him right so it's so cute but anyways um Another thing he got me was movies, of course. This movie, Hostels, um, it's with Christian Bale, Roseman Pike. I've never seen this movie, so I'm excited. I think my dad saw this movie, he liked it. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Thank you. Um, wait, the favorite, it was an Oscar favorite. <laughs> favorite. It was nominated for a 10 Academy Awards. I actually wanted to see this movie. And I never went to see it. That's just me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he got this movie. I actually wanted to see it. So this is going to be fun to check out. I don't know how to say the director's name. I am so sorry. It has Olivia Coleman, Emma Stone, Rachel Weisz. So I'm excited to see this. The other ones is The Secret Dare to Dream. I'm like Katie Holmes and Josh Lucas. I know that guy. I was like, and Katie Holmes, of course. I know him from Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> that was, <laughs> I actually like that movie a lot with um, Reese Witherspoon. So, I've never seen this movie, so I'm excited to check it out. And the last movie is The Breakthrough with Christy Metz, I think her last name, and Josh Lucas as well. Um, and other actors like Topher Grayson and all that stuff. Um, I've never seen this movie too. It looks like an inspirational type of movie for the family, so I'm excited to check it out. So yeah, I, I haven't watched This Is Us in a long time. So that is all of the um, my gifts. Thank you for watching. Um, thanks to my family again for all these gifts and for the birthday wishes and making my birthday great, especially during this time and it has been stressful and everything. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching this birthday haul. I'm actually excited to do it. I don't know. So <laughs> um, write down below whatever you got for your birthday. Uh, anything special that you want to share. You know, I would love to read it. <laughs> so subscribe, like, thanks for watching. Um, have a great week. Peace.